Hey everybody, I'm not gonna do the whole wait till everybody gets on or for people to watch thing, but I, um, the kids and I and Brett and a few of our brothers and sisters from Ecclesia, um, we were out at the mill at the abortion clinic like we are every Tuesday morning, um, just pleading with moms, um, letting them know that we can help, we want to help financially, all, all of the ways. We always tell them, we just want to help you. Please come and talk to us. Um, and so we were doing that as usual. And there was one or two that, you know, gave us the bird and the FU like, like normal. Um, there was one car that the wife or girlfriend went in and we could tell that the, the husband or boyfriend who was sitting in the car that he was listening and he got out to smoke a cigarette and so we kind of started talking to him pleading with him to go in and rescue his baby and um, he was telling us that they have three kids already um, that his wife they had been to several doctors who told them that his wife would die if she had another baby which I don't I'm not gonna go into that right now but we we tried to um, just plead with him some more and just talk through it with him and let him know that uh, the when you get whatever that diagnosis is, uh, you, you don't just intentionally kill a baby. A doctor um, swears an oath to do no harm. And so that would mean in the best case scenario, a good doctor would do his best to save the mom and the baby, whatever that medical condition is. He didn't speak great English so there was a little bit of barrier but he we were it was good we were communicating fine um, but the escorts who are there who volunteer their time to uh, <laughs> unpaid just go and wrap their as Brett says wrap their tentacles around these people and escort them inside to kill their baby the escort tried to stand in between us and was just yelling so that he couldn't hear us um, and eventually she left. The escorts don't care about these people. So once they left, um, we were able to talk to him some more. He got back out of his car and was talking to us. Um, and so long story short, we, we just kept pleading with him. It's explaining to him that there is no justified reason to kill a baby. And, and we understand that there are medical, rare medical complications that can lead to, um, uh, danger for the mom, but we tried to get across that any doctor that has told him that he needs to intentionally kill his baby to um, to save the mom is a liar. That doesn't exist. You try to save both, and if the baby dies, that's tragic. Okay, but you don't kill a baby on purpose. You don't go in and murder a baby. That's not a doctor who does that. Um, so he was hearing that and he kept saying, I agree. Um, so Brett got his phone number and went ahead and texted him so that he would have it. And they were still sitting there in the parking lot um, waiting on the girl to come back out from her appointment. She was gonna do the, um, the, the pill that basically starves your uterus of, starves your baby um, from everything that they need to, to survive. So. She was in there doing that. So the husband, he, he sends her a picture of some, of a flyer that he, that we had given him about the abortion pill reversal. So the husband sends her a picture while she's inside of that abortion pill reversal and says, come back, call me now. And she, she texts him back and said, um, she said, I'm not going to do it. She said, I'm coming back out. And so, sorry for the weird angle, I'm still driving. Um, so they came back out and they left and that baby was saved. So if you all would pray for, whew, would pray for Eddie and his wife, um, that baby was saved today because of Christians who were out there lovingly pleading for the life of that baby and we, most days really suck out there and people are are just awful they they don't want to listen to us and I I get that if you're in the mindset 
to kill a baby, then we, we don't expect everyone to want to listen. But um, it just gets really frustrating some days and really discouraging. But then something like that happens and it makes it, it's all worth it because it's worth it to be faithful to what God has commanded to rescue those being carried off to death. But it makes it um, just more encouraging when one is, is rescued. And we actually get to see the fruit of that. Our prayer is that a lot of babies are rescued after the fact. And maybe we just don't ever know. And that's great. We praise God for that. But, um, so pray for Eddie. Pray for us. Come out there with us. It's not, um, it's not fun, but it's what we've been commanded to do. And as Christians, I hope that you all will, um, will come do that with us sometime. We had a, a new uh, friend come out today who had never been and, and he w he's a sonographer. And so he was even able to talk to Eddie, to this dad and, and give, shed some light on some things about that medical condition, but everybody has a place there. We need you out there. Um, there's plenty of people who come and they don't say anything at all. And that's great. They just pray. You know, some of us will, will call out and we'll talk to people and everyone else is just praying and that's what we need. So, um, praise God for that baby who was saved today and, and possibly another one, by the way, we just didn't really get to talk to them. They, they pulled up someone in the back seat, uh, had their door open and was saying, pointing to the front seat saying, she's going to murder her baby, but the girl never got out and they left. So they heard what we were saying as well. So maybe that's what God used to save that baby as well. But I wanted to share that and I was too excited to wait and make a video later. But, um, so praise God for a, a baby that was saved today. Please contact us if you want to come out there with us to see for yourself what we do. There's a lot of misconceptions, I think, about what goes on out there on our part, like what we're actually saying to people. And then also about, um, there's a lot of misconception about what people say to us about, uh, anyway, we would love for you to come out there with us and you should, and I hope that you will, um, praise God for that baby that was saved. Um, yeah. Say bye, everybody.